Hey y'all, welcome back. It's D. And when you're seeing this, it's Sunday, and we're ready to head inside of CVS. So let's get into some of the best deals. But don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe. Let us know. Let me know down below where y'all are from, what the weather's like. I'll be enjoying just a little on the gloomier side. But I need food. So I'm going to show y'all how you can save on food. Now, do remember, CVS is on a two week ad cycle. So technically, my video from last week. You can do those same deals this week. They just reset. So if you did the deals last week, you could do them again this week. So I'm really just in here getting like what I need. So yeah, so stick around y'all. So this is going to definitely be a shorter video. So make sure you check out my video from last week for the deals that you want to do for this week since they're on a two week cycle. I just need to get some food items and I'm going to use my care pass to make y'all. So I know that's always on the top of the list, food. Um, and that's the same in my household. That's something I always need. So I love couponing it. So remember y'all, if you're not a part of the CVS care pass, um, if you do it yearly, I think it comes out maybe like $3 or something a month or $4 a month or $6. Y'all don't quote me, but if not, you can pay $5 a month and then you get a $10 uh, extra buck each month, along with like 20% off CVS brand and it comes with other benefits as well. But a win-win because that's like a free $5 each month that you can use towards something that you need. So I need milk and eggs and I can't remember if I can get that with extra bucks. I think I can, I think it's Walgreens that I can't. But let's, what I'm looking though, it don't even look like they have eggs. Oh yes they do. They got the expensive ones, uh, but I need milk too, but I want the lactate one. Hmm. I went to this CDS y'all because they have a lot of like, this like a bigger one, they have a lot of food options. So let me see. I think I know what I'm gonna do because I'm gonna take advantage of that General Mills deal. Um, hold on, wait one second. I know, I about to say, I know this ain't $5. And this is actually butter. Which I do need, but I'm actually going to get that from um, Sam's Club. Not Sam's Club, Publix. Make sure y'all check that video out because the Country Crock is BOGO. I think I might just get this one. It's six seventy nine. Yep. Definitely probably going to get this. I got $10, y'all, I'm trying to use. And then I think I'm going to do the cereal deal. Because the cereal deal just got better, y'all. I'll be telling y'all about these rebate apps to maximize your savings even more. And like I always say, Fetch is the easiest one because you literally are just taking photos of your receipt that you uh, redeem for points that you can get gift cards for. Oh, they don't have the flavor. Or do they? Huh. Oh, yes, they do. So remember, y'all, just like last week, this week, the General Mills series are $1.99. But check to see if you have a dollar off of two digital. Now, you might have two. I always like to clip those as soon as I get it because a lot of times we'll get another one. And a lot of times those might double dip glitch and come off together even though we're picking up two so two of them is going to total us like 398 but after the two dollars in savings comes off if they both come off that's going to drop us down to 198 but then it gets better because i believe we have a dollar cash back offer on a bottle when we buy two which is then going to drop it down to 98 cents but wait y'all it gets even better because i noticed on my fetch reward app i have a couple offers for like general mills products and apparently i have an offer where i'll get back 1300 or even 1500 points which is equivalent to like a dollar 50 or a dollar 30 whichever one it is um when I buy three and I already bought one General Mills product. So I just need to buy two more to get that. So it's going to end up being like free and like a little money maker y'all for me. But technically I'm just going to use my CVS cash to pay for this, which is how you can save y'all on your groceries using your store money to help cover the things you need and then making it even better by submitting it to these rebate apps y'all. So I think I'm going to pick up these two and get this added to my cart. So if you made it this far, y'all, comment down below the word General Meals or the number 199. And don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. Y'all, so I do want to confirm the price of this milk. So yeah, remember where I said y'all can always check the price is right here at the red box. Because remember I have $10 in extra bucks. So I want to make sure I'm calculating my total accurately. So you come over here to the red box, hover it over the barcode, and then it'll tell you how much. So these are six seventy nine. Okay. Now, with everything in my card, I'm at ten seventy seven. But remember, I have at least two dollars in savings that probably will come off, which will drop me down to eight seventy seven. 
so that's about a dollar and like what 20 something cents 23 cents that might go to waste so what i'm gonna try to do is go down a dollar out remember i told y'all i love going down the dollar out and this cvs like i said which is which is a little bigger um has the dollar out still so i saw some of y'all comments some of y'all said you didn't even realize that your stores uh, took it away or i think some of y'all said y'all still have it but a great way to use up some of the extra bucks out of, so they don't go to waste because if you don't know let's say you had a ten dollar extra buck and you bought something for five dollars you would be out five dollars so it's not like the extra bucks is just gonna reduce down and then you'll still have five dollars left no you'll just be out of five dollars so I might pick up something for like a dollar or either a dollar 25 but i'm gonna use that to help so i don't you know just waste all my extra bucks or a dollar of my extra yeah, so this is what i'm gonna end up picking up real simple and sweet so everything here should total me 11.77 remember both of the general meals are dollar 99 each i scanned them on my cvs app and both of the dollar off of two digitals are popping up so hopefully they both come off um and then i also uh, scanned these on abata just to see if that offer would pop up as well for a dollar back when you buy two and then um the other items I don't have any coupons for, but we're going to use our extra bucks, remember? So eleven seventy seven, and then minus the $2 digitals or the dollar, two of the dollar digitals for the cereal. So that should leave me to pay nine seventy seven. But I'm going to use that CVS extra buck. So um, I'll be missing out on like 23 cents, which I'm okay with because still I'm using CVS money to buy the things that I need. So let's head to the register, y'all. Let's uh, check out. It's so weird how y'all, when you go to like another CVS, how they have like different things, especially like the much bigger ones. I'm like, I don't normally see these at my normal one, I don't think. But y'all let me know, does your store have these uh, products as well? But let's head to the register. And you know what I didn't do, y'all? I didn't confirm the price of these sponges, but let me go ahead and just do that uh, right now. Just to make sure. Yep, and they are done. We just want to share some other deals just in case you want to be, you know, use your extra bucks like me. Some of the coffees are BOGO, y'all. Looks like valid through the 16th of March. So the Green Mountain, the Mac Cafe. Um, I think last time when I told y'all, I asked y'all below what was your favorite coffee. A lot of y'all, I think, said Mac Cafe. But y'all let me know, what's your favorite brand of coffee? But another way that you can use your extra bucks to lawyer out of pocket. And then because... um. Oh, no, no, these are on the sales. I'm going to say you, if you have any percentage off coupons, you might be able to use those, but it won't uh, really matter because these are on the sale. But tons of coffee deals, y'all. Even the community coffee, $4.99, which is a great deal. And I've got a $10 extra buck I want to use, or the Care Pass, I guess it would be called, that I want to use. So as you saw, I went ahead and checked out and everything worked out beautifully, y'all. So before tax, my total was $9.77, which is why that $10 uh, extra book reduced down. So I didn't pay anything before tax. Uh, I paid $0.08 cents after tax, y'all. But I was able to get milk, things that I needed. So if you don't know, you can use your extra bucks, y'all, to buy those things that you might be buying at your grocery store. So that's all I got, y'all. Like I said, a real shorter uh, video because the same deals last week we knew this week. This was just more of me showing you how you can definitely still save on your groceries and household essentials from using store money so if you made it to the very end comment down below the word cbs or the number 15 and don't forget to like and follow for more ways to save oh and also y'all i submitted my receipt to abata i did have to like scan it like it didn't pick it up right away and then i did submit to uh, bet rewards and i did get back to 1500 points y'all so if you're new to any of these apps i'll leave my referral code down below i know fetch is currently giving you a thousand points when you scan your first receipt which is equivalent to a dollar um and then i think with a Bada, you get back five dollars after submitting your first receipt and offer but y'all great ways to maximize your savings so i'll see y'all the next video bye, -bye.